oh gosh, I closed the game down. Help, I'm fine. Uh, we are here. Our beloved, beloved, our beloved, Yori. You have a town and a mafia, and the town has to figure out who it is. Very nice. Yeah, I've seen like, um, I've seen like some playthroughs of it, but I don't really still understand it. Being called Daddy from here is a no. <laughs> well, you're in the wrong place. You're doing good though. Pick up a few night shifts. I'm actually awake when you're alive. Very nice. Well, welcome in again, friend. I hope you enjoy your stay. It's not changed. It's probably got worse. <laughs> Alright, um, so... What actually happened? If there's even a plotline in this. Um, we wrote a poem. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Sen has it right. We wrote a poem, right? And Yori loved it. And we love Yori and we're gonna get married. So... Yeah, that's just how things are. Um, can I actually hold on? No. Maybe. Um, hold on. Sound of Okay, I don't know how much that's gonna change. But I increased the volume a little bit. They might blow my eardrums out. I love how everyone works night shifts and you can all watch me. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Like, it's like you're all working the nights, especially for me. I appreciate it. Alright, so, another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. Hell yeah, time to see my ladies. I've gotten a lot more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Enter the club room. Hello. The usual scene greets me. We changed our lives. You did. I appreciate it. Hi! Yo! Looks like you're in a good mood today. Guys, the koi fish is happy. <laughs> I'm still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing uh, to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Are you coming me to buy a snack? What do you mean I am the snack? The snack is right here. No thanks. Eh? <laughs> That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. <laughs> I don't want you, Sayori. I... I want Yuri. Okay. She has purple hair, big titties, and she loves reading, okay? She's basically me. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> Why are you... Why are you... Why are we looking at a coin purse, guys? Guys, help. Eh? Why that, all of a sudden? No reason, really? I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> is, is, is this a thing amongst men? Just going up to random women being like, oh, can I look at your purse? Bit weird. Uh -huh. But Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. <laughs> she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Hey, she's richer than me. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought snack before coming to the club room. So, either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Here she is. Guys, look at her, she's beautiful. Ah, oh, I'm in love. Yuri suddenly giggles. Huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh -huh. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yuri! Tell him to let me borrow some money. 
that. And don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you can only buy what you can responsibly afford. See, and she's got a head on her shoulders. She's got such a big brain. Big titties. A big brain, she's so, so smart. Mm hmm And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... That, I didn't mean it like that. I got too absorbed in my book. Uh. Ah! I really like when you speak your mind, Yori. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Revolution? There's a revolution going on? Oh, shit. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? There'll soon be a big devil inside of you. I mean, what? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Oh, but... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. That's very true. I was lured in by cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Oh, she planned the whole entire thing. Mischievous little witch. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> what? Did somebody... Did she just get smacked? Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles up to the desk. <laughs> You were learning by cupcakes, and now the waifus? Who even are you? I know. I know, right? I'm like a changed woman. <laughs> Ow. What was... Please be a fish. Eh? A, a cookie. Aw. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. That would have hurt. Getting smacked in the face by a giant cookie? It'd be delicious, but it would hurt. Sayori glances around. It, it's a miracle. Yo, the cookie just fell from space. Like, it's literally a god cookie. What do you mean? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. A cookie, if you will. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. Oh, she is, the little fucking vampire. But then I heard you blab about, about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Ah, <laughs> she's got a bloody good aim if she can hit someone in the face with a cookie. Natsuki. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Yeah, I can please get a room. Gosh. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. <laughs> that was me pretending to have a cookie in my mouth. Definitely a cookie. In my mouth. Mm -hmm. Sayori suddenly claps her hand over her mouth. I bit my tongue. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? the exact same cookies as the one that you just had. Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Okay, maybe they're not the same. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you, that you shared this one with me. Her moods are like British weather. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. The content I didn't know I wanted to see. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. oh, I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nurse Sayori off of her. Oh. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. The little trickster. Hey! 
Do you seriously just do that? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Mouthful. So you really trots away to save me. Is she a horse? What do you, you mean she trots off? Is she going to the stables? Yuri and I laugh as well. Oh my god, we're laughing together? Guys, we're gonna get married soon. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Monica isn't in the club room. No. Oh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything uh, about her being late today? Not me. I haven't either. Hmm. Uh, that's a tad unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Her broom closet. I bet you. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. See? I'm not the only one who thinks it. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. <gasps> sorry. I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Uh, only a little bit. We were just kind of, you know... Eh? Why does she say eh a lot? Like, it's like her brain doesn't process what's going on. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. She did it, guys. <laughs> she resisted the male. Good job. <laughs> but boyfriend? What earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Why me? Oh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost, lost track of time. So is study hall like a literally where you just literally go to study? So I guess it is. Because uh, we don't have study hall over here. Oh. In the great kingdom of the United. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it, since I was practicing piano. <gasps> she plays piano? Sick, I play the triangle. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I, I don't, really. I can just started recently. I've always wanted to learn the piano, though. That's so cool. You should probably play something for us. That's like the worst thing. Like whenever you find out that somebody plays an instrument, you're like, oh, you should really play that for us. Like, no. Maybe they don't want to. They're learning. They may not be any good, and now we have to, you know, sit through them playing shit music. You know? Just do us all a favor and just don't don't ask. That's Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! Sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case. I won't let you down, I for God's sake. Oh! Here comes the curve again! Oh gosh! Must hurt! Jesus. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah! The door keeps making noise. Sully, welcome in. Welcome to the, to the darkness. That is Doki Doki. How are you, Sully? I hope that you are doing well, my lovely. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I really love the chance to share once I'm once I'm ready. Can you play though? Right? Can you play Moonlight Sonata? If you can't, get the fuck out. Because that is the only song that you need to learn on the piano. That's me playing the piano. 
I am well, Sally. Thank you for asking. What have you been up to? How 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 has it been in the world of Sully? These kind of games. There's two reasons I play these games. I think you can figure out what they are. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Mm, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapades. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yori is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. But hopefully it hasn't been too crazy, Sully. I hope that you are doing a-okay. Hey, Yori. <gasps> yeah? Uh... I suddenly noticed that Yuri's reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. She cheat she she's cheating on me. Guys, guys, she's cheating on me. What do I do? How do I how do I cope? <laughs> she's gonna leave me. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I think Xbox has a boyfriend, don't you one of these? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Maybe. Don't parass! Oh gosh, no. My precious. I love her. We will get married. Uh, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Ah, well, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Uh huh. Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Anything for you, Yori. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Go for it, my darling. I'll have tea, two sugars. Thank you. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. She knows. She fucking knows. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Like, is this closet like a magic fucking closet? Because there seems to be a lot of action in this closet, you know? I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? I'll hold it for two. Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Where the fuck does the kettle come from? <laughs> she just pulls it out of her ass like, oh kettle! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go and get some water. Oh! The teacher's desk. I'm being risky. <laughs> she walks past me and settles, the, settles the, uh, the kettle down on the teacher's desk. It's the magic brew, innit? I simply watch her movements. <laughs> I watch her ass as she goes. <laughs> To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yori appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Lead the way. <laughs> hmm, where are you to? For God's sake, we're getting cock blocked by Monica now? For God's sake. I've got to go give her the best dick she's ever had in life. We're just... Yuri is going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realise how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. The doll's over there. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? Who is she, my manager? Get out of here, Monica. Fuck off. That's... Monica... Please mind your own business for once. <laughs> Go on, Yori. <laughs> oh, do you want me to tell... Uh, what? Or oh, do you want to tell me that there's something wrong with helping... involve him in club activities? <laughs> My mouth gapes. I... Oh, she's sticking her ass out now. Now she wants me to get distracted by her ass. Ain't happening. I am all focused on Yori. Nice try, devil dick. I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Just check out my ass before you go. Hmm. But let's go. Ha. Ah. Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. You did fantastically. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... 
Something about the way she said that made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? Hormones. It's okay. Happens to all of us. No, Yori. I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... Where's the music? The music's gone. Hello? Oh. Oh. Why does that look... Oh. 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 My fingers... <laughs> I don't know. I have... I... I uh, don't know. It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Unholy? How come even when I do something bad? You're being nice to me. I like the bad girls, what can I say? Because... Nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect except for me. We have emotions and we can't hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain wait, a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. Oh my gosh, I need to I need to take his advice, Jesus. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say shit we friend zoned ourselves. God Damn it! Alobi! How are you doing, Fred? Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. Ah, mmm. Eh. Yuri lifts her head. Unholy. I really like being friends with you. How dare you, friends? Are we friend zoned ourselves? Like, come on. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you two. No! We fucked it. Before we even began, we fucked it. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. <laughs> Stop being a hope, Phil. <laughs> Wait, can I read quieter? No. Why would I want to read quieter? It you was know. at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Exactly. Phil knew he's fucked. Knows he knew he's fucked up. Knows he's fucked up. I mean, is is like seriously? Like, is the mic too loud? Am I being too loud? Do I need to turn it down? This is one of your favorite games. I'll be. I understand. Phil POV. I'm glad we have friends too. <laughs> oh no, ads. Oh, hold up. Wait. So you know, at least at least he at least he can read. Um. Got him. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walked to the nearest water fountain. I am, but I wanted to hear what you said. Wait. So are you back now? Can you hear what I said? I'm very confused. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Unholy, do you like oolong tea? I'm not sure about oolong, but I like oo short tea. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes that's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. If anything, it's fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Yeah, um, Ali, there's there's two reasons why I like this game. Once again, I'm objectifying pixels and I'm not even sorry. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Tea and titties! Oh my gosh! I love that. Okay, I'm back. Okay, okay I'll be. There's two main reasons. Why I, could, I said it before, and I thought that Alfie was back, and he, and he, and he wasn't. There's two main reasons why I love why I love this game. They're on screen right now. Of course, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. But yeah, hopefully the mic isn't actually too loud. Um, if it is, let me know. 
Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> a woman of culture, exactly. In that case, I'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yo fetches a teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. Does she get out like a ruler and she's like, this one's five centimeters? Perfect. <laughs> Alby is having an absolute jam in chat. Go on, Alby. And to my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Tea makes everyone in a good mood. What do you mean? Like, anything is wrong. Depressed? Tea. Anxious? Tea. Sad? Tea. Cold? Tea. War? Tea. In bed? Tea. Reading? Tea. Eating? Tea. Tea just solves everything. What day am I on? I want to say this is our third. Because we've done two poems. Yeah. And then th this is the day that we review our second poem. <laughs> poem. Is that so? I was letting it show. Is that so? I was letting it show. I'm sorry, I I'm not sure where that came from. I'm really warm. I just opened the window a tad. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. Oh gosh, that's dangerous. But you're sexy, let's go! And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Ah. And hot with that tea, hell yeah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me. It's very endearing. Oh, she used the word endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I wish Yuri, Yuri for a cup of tea for each of us. I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Are the chairs not good enough? What, what do you mean? There's like 30 perfectly good chairs there. They're all in working order. Why don't you have a get to chairs? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. It's okay, we'll just break it tonight. No, no, no. We'll blow it. That's the, yeah, that's the, the term, isn't it? We'll blow the, blow the back out. There we go. School chairs are never comfortable. That's true. They're not. Hear me out. She could use, that, she could use our face in the chair. That's very true. The perfect seat. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. I'll bend you over now. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Especially with those tatters. <laughs> tatters. <laughs> no worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. She's got back pain because I'm carrying this bloody aim. I, I, I know it's shoulder pain, but like, shoulder, back, same thing. Sure. Is that so? I wonder why that is. Actually, no, she has back pain because of a huge bazongas. Un I understand. It's, it's a trouble I have, too. <laughs> it's most likely because my... Ah! Bye! Your posture, right? I always hunched over like that. Exactly, exactly. It's definitely to do with the posture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have terrible reading posture. That is science. So that's why we should sit on the floor. <laughs> Ta taz. <laughs> Say it with me. Ta taz. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. Oh, we are an absolute gangster. It's a small bag of chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh. I can't see too well. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Albie is going fucking sick. He's 
Oh, Albie, who did who is who is your waifu? Yori was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Oh, your teacup. Yori hunts you my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh no! Just Monica? Wait, so you weren't befriending our good waifu Yori? Well, more for me, I guess. Meanwhile, Yori hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her interest reading, uh, intense reading expression, so, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Just the book. After a few minutes I, minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate wrapper. Sorry. Yuri was hot, and but Sayori was better, but Monica, that pose. Oh, that ski slope pose. I'm, je I'm jealous. <laughs> I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, that's... That's okay, I won't eat the chocolate. I drugged it especially for you. Don't try that at home. For legal reasons, that is a joke. Not the don't try that at home, the, the bit before. Hmm. Eh, are you sure? Well... If I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. That's very true, actually. There's nothing worse than melted chocolate on book pages, because then you think it's shit. So you're like... What? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologise. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, look at that pose. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, my mic's come in to say hello. Yori opens the book with both hands. Look at how pretty she is. Look at the purple eyeballs. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading it. But as, as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yori is already totally focused on reading it. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. Then I hold it up to Yuri. <gasps> That's cute. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if this situation was completely normal. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. <gasps> Guys, it's getting spicy up in here. Just like that. Yori closes her lips over it. Huh? Yori's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Watch how she's like allergic to chocolate or something? They're like, fuck, we just, just killed her? Yori looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Holy... D sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh, uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. Helping. <laughs> That's something that friends do. Right? Uh, is she crying? Why is she crying? She's defo allergic to chocolate, isn't she? We have actually just poisoned her. Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop her or anything. <laughs> I see. This situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. Guys will stare at each other in the eyes. <gasps> just like this. Just like that. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. <gasps> ah! 
Like before, Yuri parts her lips. <gasps> but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth, along with our finger, maybe? Oh, I feel... Who is making a ruckus? It's, it's really tense, but I'm... Yet Anyway. Okay, everyone. Monica. Oh, she's such a cock block. I hate her. I hate her so much. Can't she see we're having a moment? Ah, uh, it's ruined. Oh. Nah. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. But Holly, you can help Yuri put the tea stuff away, right? Yep, yep, of course. That's fine. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Monica. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the tea cups from the floor. And I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Obviously. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? And holy, this one might even be better than yesterday's. Mm, fucking nailed it, guys. High five. That was a little bit off. Let me do that. Three, two, one. Good job. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. That was a hiccup, I'm very sorry. Yuri visibly swallows. Oh my gosh. Am I okay? I don't think I am. Even her hands appear sweaty. Oh. Mom spaghetti. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. Sometimes it can be a, just a lot. I understand. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Oh, was so kind and thoughtful. Oh, my, my mum's cushion covers have shrunk. <laughs> Tragedy. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me so goddamn happy. Called it. <laughs> Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Here we nods. I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Hmm. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Maybe she doesn't have any close friends. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. I mean, we're going to have to share it with everybody, so, you know. The raccoon! Oh gosh, it happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies in, as an unordinary human. Like, a lower writing, but my gosh, it's hard to read. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is a fed, wait, what? That is a fed? That is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. I understand. The raccoon is a metaphor. The raccoon, guys, isn't real. Don't worry for all of those who are scared of raccoons. It's not real. It's okay, I've got you. What the fuck's that word? 
the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off by cutting knife. It's the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. And perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has been following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish... Ban brandish? That doesn't seem like a word. Brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. I, I, I can wrap my head around this. The raccoon is a metaphor for herself. It's basically like a bad habit, right? That like, she allows herself to do something. But it's a, it's, it's turned into a bad habit, like the the raccoon and feeding the, the the knife. It's a very good poem. Mm -hmm. Good job. I was a lot more daring with this one than yesterday's. Oh, I could see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. <laughs> I'm not the only one then. <laughs> That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. The knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what that's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Ah, okay. I understand. Aunt, how we doing? Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? B because... I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. They're embarrassing. People would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that? Well, yeah, I, I guess I do. All praise the Dorito. Guys, I have no hands. <laughs> I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we could do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. Yeah, how are you, Aunt? I hope you're, that you're having a wonderful weekend. I probably just had my best TOS game ever. I can feel my brain exploding. Oh, your, your brain expanding. Oh. Is what, 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 tier, what TOS game? I, I, I must know for science and research purposes. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Oh, you're still playing Town of Salem. I understand, I understand. There's been a Deegan in Path of Exile, like usual. Very nice. Well, I hope your Path of Exileness is is going well. I I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. What can I say? I've got big ears. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. I'm a man of faulty talents. There really aren't many people like you, Unholy. Oh, that's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I feel like I almost look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. I get all warm and fuzzy inside. And you're so thankful for that. A lot of people talked about uh, P.O.E. because of the Diablo leaks. I'm unsure of what leaks you are on about. It's nothing really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Who should I put my show my poem to next? None of them. Uh, Peary always gets the hype when new seasons come out. 
I don't think I've ever jumped on the PoE hype train, so I am unable to comment. Alright, let's get the uh, cock block out of the way. Hi again. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. Uh, it looks like they are staying out tonight. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. I have a masterpiece in my pants. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. Albie, calm down. I know that your waifu is on the screen, just I'm gonna need you to you know, bring that energy down a little bit, okay? Indoor voice. All right, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Who's Yuri? Check Monica pose. <laughs> that was my impression of Monica's pose. <laughs> so you can't deny that she's talented yeah totally and there's the door in case you hadn't noticed i think her poems are the most romantic that's the best way to describe it she's like a totally different person when she picked up a pen i noticed that too and when she's talking about literature it's like a light turns on inside her mm-hmm Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, no, of course not. I just mean that I wish she didn't keep to herself so much. But still, defending her like that. Oh, oh gosh! I'll be there it is! Oh, she po almost poked an eye out. My gosh! You must be pretty into her. I'm hoping to get pretty into her tonight, you know? Eh? You completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. <laughs> <coughs> oh, what? I feel like I've just had my heart ripped out and crushed. What do you mean? Oh, the boyfriend is us. I understand. I understand. No, wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. The book boyfriends. I have many of them. My uncle kind of whispers that last part to me. Oh, oh. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying, have you seen how much my back arches? I'm really good. But anyway... You want to read my poem now? For God's sake, not really. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Save me. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean you should stop trying to score. Exactly. Exactly, Phil knows. Phil is a giga chad. Colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violent, grating waveform, speaking, switching, piercing, sign, cussing, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turbine, like playing a violin on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Um. Bit more fast paced than the uh, last one. It's good, I liked it. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Mm, but you really need to stop doing that. <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Right, Albie and all Monica lovers, you've had three Monica poses in the last five minutes. Um, you're all very welcome. Calm down, though. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. She likes playing with space paper. I understand. Or well, paper space. Did Monica say something uh, about the way her back bends? <laughs> she didn't, but I would like an explanation. <laughs> Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. 
It's almost like magic. I wouldn't understand that. I wouldn't know. Though I, the way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. Instead, you should check our notice board over there. It's got like all of like the daily activities. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Oh. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. What? Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Albie. <laughs> Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Keep it, I don't want it. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> um, um, I'm just gonna... What do you mean? You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. What do you mean? Why is she breaking the fourth wall like that? Wait, is this tape even about writing? I don't know. What am I even talking about? Oh no! <laughs> That's my advice for today. Is Monica a robot? I understand, but I'm very scared, so we're just gonna. Just gonna do that. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> we are in danger. Uh, hold up. No, it doesn't show up. Um, where do I even get my sound alerts from? That's a question. I need to turn them up a little bit if I can. Oh well, I'll deal with that later. Jason, writing it on the list of things I need to fix. Alright, Natsuki, you little vampire demon lady, let's go. Hmm. Well, I can admit that this is a better one than last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. I always put in effort. But I still don't like this at all. <laughs> it's trying too hard to be serious. You're trying too hard to be serious. Talk to me when you've grown some titties. Eh, what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Guys, I understand now writing's like a fart. If you force it, it's probably going to be shit. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yori's level. I hate it. <laughs> Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. You're, you're not you're not just trying to impress Yuri. Oh, oh damn it, she's got us. But what are you talking about? Keep your voice down, indoor voice. You know Yuri would love this kind of... This angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I... I she has got us. She's got us at a corner. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. Good, say louder. Fuck off. And Natsuki shoves the poem I handed uh, her back over to me. Take a stupid poem. If you wrote it for somebody else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless she was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. It's very true. Oh, we didn't get to read her poem? That's sad. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. It has some nice feelings in it. I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know, you tried real hard on that one, didn't you? I can see the steam. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Oh, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. That's why I just go 
by my heart. If it makes, makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Um, Jason? Jason will know. To me, I, I, I don't know the difference between them all, really. But uh, I went down and we had like a nice little like candlelit dinner and there was wine and it was really cute. Me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Uh, I think it was uh, P Pedo Pedo Grigio. I, I think that's a that's a wine. That might be a grape. I don't I don't know. Um, it might be the that one. But Jason Allen, he he likes his wines. See, I got it right. <laughs> that is that is a wine. I'm so smart. Why don't you at least try giving it some some thought? I mean, usually I don't like white, like white's my least favourite, so it goes like rosé, red, and white, but this one's actually quite nice. Aw, oh, you want to write something for me? That No, I, I didn't say I wanted to write something for you, Skiver. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to go think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well... I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try and keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well... I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain card in your head, a sad poem can help give that rain card a little hug. That's so sweet. And make a nice happy little rainbow. And that is unexpectedly poetic. It is? Maybe I'm getting better because... <laughs> Understood. Thanks. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Oh my god, this is a long one. What's it? <clears throat> Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all of my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection makes a lot of friends, each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more balls. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. That's what she said! <laughs> like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel, feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. Did they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But each time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards, all over the floor. It was supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. Yo, that one's actually really sick. Let's go. I like that one out of, like, the best out of all of them. Holy crap. Sayori, did you, did you really write this? Of 
course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. That's good. I can see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself in this way. It helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori has always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it uh, no more than a week later. I'm sure we're all guilty of that. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. What was that bit? <clears throat> Ali, I'll have you not questioning my facial features. Please, thank you. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come and sit at the front of the room, oh, for God's sake. This is about the festival. The old festival. What? Well, sort of. Duh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? Is it like we can put anything together good in a few what? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves anyway instead of getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations, honestly me neither. <laughs> don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters. I burped, I'm sorry. And I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what exactly we're going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. No, I guess you were too busy cock blocking me and Yuri to, you know, care. We're going to be performing. Oh, performing? Ah, uh, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. I'm out. Count me out. No. Not. No. No. You two are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and, put and recite poems too. So I always put it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, he's in colouring a poster. Hold it up for us to see. Are you kidding me? For once, I agree with Natsuki. <laughs> you, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Yes. Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. It's 30s. I could never in my life do something like that. You could, I believe. It's just not a very nice thing to do. Imagine it, Yori shakes her head in fear. It's okay. Guys? No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yori have never shared their poems with anyone though just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. You did, a little bit. And me! Like, you guys have been here longer than me. Is the green screen still doing that weird thing it is? <laughs> so I'm sorry. But, oh for god's sake, there's a but. Yeah, <laughs> but. I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. You can just look over at the notice board over there to find the uh, poster, guys. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's all about expressing your feelings. Go, feelings! 
being intimate with yourself. Yay, intimacy with myself. Finding new horizons. Yay, new horizons. Yay, Animal Crossing. <laughs> and having fun. Yay, fun. No suppressed feelings. That's right. Suppress those feelings. <laughs> and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Do you want to share that with others? No. To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I only was brought here for cupcakes, so... I know you do. I cupcakes. I know we all do. But if that's all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and recite reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. That was so inspirational. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. Sick. I don't think it's too much to ask. Oh, it is too much to ask. What do you mean? I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. Have they, though? The least we can do is help them on a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Cat's going to be out, out of the bag soon. What do you mean? I'll be spoilers. Shh. I'm joking. No, oh, it's a TwitchCon 2019 batch. He went to TwitchCon in 2019. I'll be mm. suspicious. Looks like Natsuki didn't have any arguments left. Did you have a good time though? Uh. Okay, fine. I guess I just have to get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? What? Why? Wait, what? What you were whining and what in for? I'm very confused. Yuri de dejectedly glances around at everyone else's uh, expectant faces. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yori. I'm not sure if I've only just noticed this, but like all of the eyes are red. Like around the outside, they're all red. Like, were they like that last time? You went by yourself? Gosh, you are brave. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. Is that not eyeshadow? I mean, the fact that they've all got red eyeshadow, like, it's, it's a bit weird. I didn't, I didn't notice it before. No, no way. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I thought this was a scary game. Honestly, I'm thinking the same. This, this, this isn't scary, you know? It's titties, how, how, how can we be scared? I'll sort of to help everyone feel a bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. It's to contrast the difference uh, for the eye and the eyelashes. Oh, okay, fair play, fair play. Ahem. Monica Bings, uh, begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yori has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Res 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 How the fuck do you say that word? <laughs> ah, I'm just gonna move on with my life. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. 
Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Go on, Yori! Wah! Yori's fired up all of a sudden. Yori clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yori anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yori. Uh, it's called... After image of a crimson... It's called Rat. <laughs> After image of a crimson eye. Yori's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Oh, there's nothing worse than getting up in front of the class and having to recite stuff. It's horrible. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yori gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yori gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. That's my woman! The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she in uh, oh gosh, enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirl whirling fire Yori keeps concealed inside of her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yori snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she's bewildered even herself. Try doing that but having to do it in a different language you hardly know. Big no, immediate no. No thank you. No plane. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yori the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. <laughs> that must be it. As we applaud, 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 Yori holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yori, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yori is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of a chair and carefully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Ah. Sorry, I giggled. <coughs> Sorry, I hiccuped. Yeah. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. Just read, stop laughing. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, if you notice, um, the board over there, there is a note on there that tells you exactly how to recite poems in front of strangers. Please refer to it in future. Thank you. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you recite it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to uh, reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. Good job. Everyone give a round of applause. I did it! Yeah. Did. Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even he liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. You might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. Uh, it will. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. If you notice the notice board over there, there is a list of poems that you can choose from. Thank you. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. 
And now who's next? Natsuki? Huh. Don't make me go before him. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let uh, him lower everyone's standards a lot before I have to do it. <laughs> She's so sassy. What the fuck? Why? Why is she... I get it right, because she's so small, she's closer to hell. I understand. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I may as well get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll do it with what I wrote for today. Oh, it's like the joke that like small people are closer to hell. It's why they're so angry. And why they're so evil. <laughs> I have an itchy eye. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Oh my gosh. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time, though. Maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> because you're presenting. <laughs> Anyway, the poem is called Jump. <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if it's giving life to the poem. I'll show you what else bounces up and down. <laughs> Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds, except me, we don't. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Huh? Well, tomorrow. <laughs> do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, I want to class as friends. What do you mean? It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... And I guess in that case, you don't have to worry about much for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up home and get enough practice before the festival, okay? And if you look at look at the door, that's why we're going to be going in about 10 seconds. I'm making pamphlets for God's sake. Pamphlets! So let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Oh gosh! But Monica Pose! Monica Pose! It makes me really happy. I can see that. It's like whenever she gets really happy, she just sticks her ass out and she's like, Have you noticed? My ass." <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. Home time! There's the door, let's go. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. I've just realised, right, so on top of all the homework we get, we also have to recite poems. On top of her work. Monica, please. As for the festival, we're we'll finished planning tomorrow and we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I could do this, I could do this. Alright. I stand up. And my boner hit the desk. Shit. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica. Monica? We don't want to impress Monica. Then I'll have to do my best. 
Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like Shut up. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Oh, would you put your arse away for two seconds? Yeah. Jeez, guys. Can't make such a big deal out of it. it. Must be a little nice, though. Well. Uh, e uh. It's okay, you don't have to say it. Just say what? Uh, let's just go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. She annoys me every single step of the way. 